Hey guys, good morning. This is Ashwin again. And in this video lecture, we are going to see the concept of null and column aliases. So if there is a numeric column in your database, you can assign the value zero to it. And if there is a character or string column in your database, then you can have an empty string in that particular column for a value. But here in this video lecture, we are going to discuss something different altogether. And that thing is known as null. So null is something that means absence of data. So I have already given you examples of zero in the numeric column and empty string in the string or character columns. So null is neither zero nor an empty string. It means the absence of the value altogether. So we are going to see that in a moment. So now let's execute this query first. Use Sakila. Now I'm going to say select star from film. And if I execute this, this is going to show us all the records from the film. Okay. So film is a table that has got details of films. Now here you can see in the original language ID, you can find a few null values. So let's go ahead and select only a few column. So we are going to use the projection operation. So I'm going to say title comma description comma original language id so if i execute this this is the output and you can see that original language id has got null value in that so this is how a null value means absence of data so in this MySQL interface, it actually shows the string null with gray background. So it doesn't mean that it has got actually the character string null in that particular column. It has actually got no data and to represent no data, it is actually showing us null with gray background. So we are going to see in the next few lectures that how to find out the null using the where clause. But as of now, just understand null means the absence of any data at all. So this is different from string null. Okay. So this is a string null. Okay. This means that there is a data character data that has got value n u double L, but only n u double L means absence of data. Okay. So you can even see that MySQL workbench highlights them in different fashions. Okay. Now we are going to see column aliases, column aliases. So don't worry about noting down the queries because all these queries are available in the PDF for the download in the downloadable section of this video lecture. So sometimes we need to rename the columns that we are using for the selection operation. Okay, it doesn't mean that we are actually renaming the columns in the database itself. We are just renaming how they are displayed. So let us see how we can do that. So select title as film title. Okay, so suppose I want to show the data that is there in the title column under the heading film title, then I can just say title as film title. Okay. Now there is other way of doing that also. So we can just say description as summary. So note that in the earlier column, we have used double quotes because this is a string with a space. Okay, so if you actually remove these 
double quotes, then it might actually throw an error. So here in this particular string, there is no empty space. That's why we can just use it as it is. And finally, we can even provide the column alias without using as. So I'm just going to say original language ID language. Okay. And from film. So the alternative names for the columns that we use in the select query, they are known as column aliases. So we know that the meaning of dictionary meaning of alias is alternative name. So here we are not actually changing the names of those columns in the database tables. We are just changing the heading under which their data is displayed. So here we had the column names as title, description and original language ID. Okay. So basically this query is same as the earlier query. The only difference is that we are showing the data under different headings. So now I'm just going to select entire stuff and execute it. And this is the output. We have here film title, summary and language. Okay. The data is essentially the same. So the data is same and even the columns from which we are selecting the data are same. The only difference is that the heading under which all the data in the columns is displayed are different. And that's why we use the column aliases in SQL. So here in this video lecture, we saw null and the concept of column aliases. So I want you to go ahead and practice these queries and also modify these queries. As I have told you already, a corresponding PDF containing all these queries can be found in the downloadable section of this video lecture. Do let me know if you have any question, query or comment about this video lecture. Thanks a lot again for watching this video lecture and I will see you next time.